awkward, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Um, it's a madcap romp through monsters, different time zones. I suppose on one level it's just a completely crazy spoof and on another you might say it's a, an allegorical tale about corporate life and people's existence in it. A series of chaoticness, bonkers events that take place in this workplace and again I can't, sp I can't spoil too much, you just gotta go with the direction. It follows the story of uh, Kev Kevinson, who's um, a really interesting character, and he is his first day at work in the company Smiths and Stones, and he meets all the other employees and different characters, who all have very strong personalities, and he's on an epic quest to find a vending machine because he, you know, he's a bit hungry. Uh, I didn't play a character in the piece, but if I could play a character in the piece, I'd play Valerie because I think she, um, because uh, I just think she's pretty, uh, she's pretty cool, and I like how she's a musical character, and I like musical numbers. I would describe Valerie as quite out of place in the play. She's, uh, all the characters are out of place in a way, but to have a 1950s-esque singer, I suppose that's quite an interesting thing to explore. Um, otherworldly, very surreal, um, not two-faced, but definitely there's something more to them than they let on. So, Lenny is off the wall crazy. He is star raving mad. Um, but in comparison to some of the other characters, he's really quite straight-laced. Um, I was quite surprised. Um, he's a lovely guy mad. I'm not sure I'd want to invite him to dinner, um, but he'd be a decent laugh to go for a pint with down the pub. Just keep your hair on. I don't think it belongs in any one particular box. I think it's unboxable, but I would try to put it in sci-fi. I would try to put it in sci-fi. Maybe coming of age, maybe comedy, maybe romance, maybe art house, just maybe. Um, I would say it's probably adult entertainment, children entertainment. Um, I would say it's a thriller. And uh, yeah, I would say it's an abstract piece. Yeah, I'd say it's all them genres. Themes. The themes. Oh, like I said, it's absolute bonkers. So the themes itself, there's not just one specific theme. It's just, it is just, <laughs> it is again, bonkers. <laughs> well, th I, I guess this, you know, this, this Kev, Kev, Kevin, Kevin's has got this journey through this new organisation about it, so it's his, it's his journey, um, but there's just like this mad overlay on top of everything he does and everywhere he's been that in some respects that don't make any sense, um, but you know when you add it together and you look at it when you look at it and it's finished, I think it tells a tale, I think it tells a good story, I don't think that answers the question the way you want it answered, but it's just because it's tough. A new absurd and surreal adventure featuring Kev Kevins, an unlikely hero who's thrust into a labyrinth world completely stacked with multiple different realities. Kev Kevins just wants to live out his life in his blue collar dreamscape. However, it's all shattered when he can't find that damn vending machine. I would say in an office environment, people lose their character. And I think it's important to look beyond the office character that you see day to day when you're in the office and realize that there's more depth to everyone that you meet. And how you discover that, there's a beauty.
to be healthy snap, those have to be... I have to be a potato-based snack. Anything potato-based snack. Crisp, fries, curly fries, potato waffle. That is a good question. I would say if it was a sandwich, it would probably be something like, it'd probably have something like, like margarine on like two different tops of bread. So it'd be like brown bread sliced at the bottom and then like English muffin top. And then have like tuna, cranberry sauce, maybe like just one wedge of lime halfway through, just, just snuck in there. Another layer of tuna and then the bread and a candle. Thank you. Cheese and dill pickle sandwich. Mustard on the side. Ketchup on the side as well, variety, you can choose. Um, get a crayon, stick that in there. Heat it up. Get plastic cheese, not fake cheese, plastic cheese, like the plastic you get off of cheese and stick that in there. Warm it up in a Subway oven from a depressed employee and uh, stick some spit in there and that's it. And it would taste like rainbows. How do I cook rice properly? Properly, no. So there's a method where it's like, do you just put the water in? But us Asians, we put it in the rice cooker and how we measure what water to put in the tip of the rice should uh, touch here and the water should be here but before this is one thing people forget you have to wash the rice to get rid of the starch don't give me this colander crap you just have to let it boil in the freaking rice machine no colander you have to serve it out not pasta it's rice <laughs> just one question can mm. you not use a colander no uh, oh, okay. no no okay. colander what is that <laughs> I'm sorry. No! <laughs> it annoys me! <laughs> but that's how you properly cook a rice, okay? Okay. That's it. <laughs> um, sit down, strap yourself in, and be prepared to enjoy yourself. It's, it is, it's a great story. It's funny. It challenges you. I think trying to keep track of how all the characters fit together is a, a challenge in its own right, but it's it's definitely a, it's it's a riot. It's funny, I, it's it's funny from beginning to end. It's great. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say something like what you're about to see is likely the most chaotic production you've ever watched. Um, do you want to turn back now? And when they laugh, I'd say, seriously, do you want to turn back now? It's a mad play. <laughs> Honestly, I... If I could describe you what it is, it's... It's mad. <laughs> Whatever direction you go to, you'll get to a, a destination where no explanation basically just just keep going then and you'll find your way <laughs> some of the elements that stood out best to me in the play were the interesting narrative and the wide variety of its characters <laughs> left 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 is the way left is the way life is the way left is the way Right is the wrong. <laughs> Left the way. Vending machine, 2023, April. Come watch it.